all over my city. Stand up, get ready. Get comfortable. Let me get comfortable. What's up you guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. It is me, Nellyville. E e why am I talking like that? Oh, it's ugly, it's ugly. Let's start over. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another ew. Can we just skip the intro? Let's just get right into the tea. I just wanted to get on here and talk. Look, we've all probably seen a thousand videos or listened to a thousand podcasts and about now about Miss James Charles, okay? We talk about James Charles a lot on this channel and uh, I, I, I've i gotten into a little bit about what's going on um, but that's not what this this channel is. This channel is supposed to be uplifting and fun and focus more on the positive things but there are just a couple things that you know look I, you know look I just I, I want to address some things now I'm not going to talk about what Miss James Charles has uh, been involved in per se but there is one side of the element that uh, I, I gotta speak my piece on and it's the issue of why having influencers big influencers other youtubers come out and kind of either sided with Miss James Charles or has spoken out against him. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, do a quick Google search, look it up. We're not gonna go through all of that today. He's majorly affiliated with Morphe and we're trying to figure out what's Morphe gonna do, okay? So it just came out that Morphe has the code, code, use code James for 10% off. You know how uh, influencers have codes with different companies. Well, you know Morphe, who he has the palette out with, <sighs> the code's not working. So probably a sign that Morphe's gonna drop him. And a lot of people are like, Morphe, why haven't you, why haven't you made a statement? Blah, 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 whatever, right? But that's not even what I wanna talk about. What I wanna talk about is, People keep saying, why hasn't any of the influence said anything? Why why is everybody being so quiet? This is a very serious topic. Why is no one speaking out? And you know why people keep saying, well, why isn't Morphe said anything? What do y'all want them to say? What do you want them to say, okay? As of right now, it is nothing more but allegations that have happened. Now, I'm not saying that the little boy is guilty. I'm not saying the little boy is innocent. I'm saying we don't know what happened uh, uh, and, and, and we're not gonna get into who did what and blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of different elements to the story that we can get into. The one I wanna get into today, for real, for real, is what do you want people to say? Okay, what you gotta understand is if you, if you are a fellow influencer, so let's tackle the influencer part. If you are a fellow YouTuber or influencer, what are you gonna say? Because if this stuff comes out to not be true and you've spoken out against your fellow YouTuber, you're, you're gonna, you, you know, you're gonna look like, dang man, you didn't yeah, stand by me, you doubted me. You're just gonna look bad, you're gonna look dumb, you know, so there's that set. If it comes out to be true, and you're all, oh, that's my friend, you know, I stand by James, blah, 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 blah. and it comes out to be true, then people are going to look at you like, oh, so that's what you support now? That's what we doing? Yeah, well, we canceling you right along with him. So, damn if you do, damn if you don't. And I, we've seen what happens when you ally yourself with other YouTubers. I mean, it's like, look, why put myself into some unnecessary drama okay this is not a uh this is not a busted you know makeup line this is not a, a you know generic hoodie that he put out this is serious legal allegations that are being put on to somebody to onto james charles why would somebody put their career on the line to either defend him or condemn him can't nobody judge nobody so yeah I see why the YouTubers are being quiet. This is some serious stuff, and don't nobody want to be on the wrong side of the thing. And it, it's it's too too much is unknown right now for anybody that really pick sides. So there's that. I'm sorry. I, I don't. People keep saying, how come nobody say? What 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 do y'all want niggas to say? It ain't nothing to be said. All the facts are out there. We and we, 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 we. Would you what would you want them to say? And it's the same thing for Morphe. What y'all gotta understand is at the end of the day, it is about the dollar bill. And now, should Morphe be putting you know money uh, before? 
morals and ethics. No, but at the end of the day, they have a business to run and it is not enough to cut off your cash cow with just some allegations. As strong as the allegations may be. Now, in a few days, Morphe might say, you know what, it's enough. We have gathered enough information to cut off Miss James Charles. But at, obviously, apparently, at this point, they have not come to the conclusion that they have enough against him to cut him off. Because another thing is, like I said, if it comes out to be that it's not true, then they would have they would have lost millions they would have broke ties they would have really i mean really shot themselves in the foot if it comes out to be something where more than not james is innocent we're talking we're talking we're talking an amount of money here that most of us cannot comprehend and let's be honest they get rid of james charles who do they have okay they got miss jacqueline hill but who who's oh, i mean jacqueline hill great gal great makeup but she is not that top influencer right now now she's bringing it don't get me wrong Jacqueline Hill is bringing in the coin but you know she has her Jacqueline Hill has her loyal following her loyal customers but she is she is not bringing in the numbers like James Charles she they she's not she she has I'm not gonna say she's aged out but she's just not that top tier right now Y'all know what I'm saying? She is a classic. Uh, they get rid of James Charles. I think Morphe might go under. I mean, uh, not only that, I mean, damn. It seems just like, you know, Morphe is always breaking ties with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Always. They don't want to be known as the company that is always cutting somebody off. You know, they they cut the poor, they cut off poor and a little Laura Lee for pretty much nothing. They cut off Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson because of stuff that they did a long time ago. Here is James is in the middle of a hot scandal and they hold on to him. So a lot of people are like, keep the same energy, keep the same energy. It's not the same damn energy. And and I'm pretty sure Morphe feels like, damn, we probably drop, uh, jumped the gun at least cutting off Laura Lee. That was real, that was uncalled for. They have to drop that girl like that. Also, we don't know if James is gonna come out with a makeup line. Rumors on the beauty beauty community street is they might be coming out with a line. And y'all know how long it takes to make makeup. So if he is coming out with a makeup line with Morphe and the makeup is sitting somewhere in some warehouse, they really gonna make sure that uh, it's gonna be last resort if they cut him off because what are they gonna do? Scrape Sister Cosmetics off of the makeup and put somebody else's name on there? What are they going to do with all that makeup if it's already been made? But I don't know. I mean, they've already, the code is not working anymore. So it seems, I don't know if they're just gonna suspend the code for a little bit or what but anyways look the, the point of this whole video is just me saying people keep saying how come nobody's saying what do y'all want people to say the shit is depressing it is it is wild you know james came out and said yeah i did send these pictures of these messages to the to to these minors but they told me that they were of age now it falls on him he should have he didn't make excuses for himself he should have checked id and you know what? I, and I hate to say it, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, it, I'm gonna say it. Leave me a little hate comment if you, if you disagree. But I'm just gonna say this. This don't make it right, but this is true tea. This is true tea. People need not sit up here and act like this 21 year old man sending snap messages to a, a 16 or 17 year old is the worst thing in the world is it inappropriate duh of course but what you we need to realize is that the age of consent is 16 17 years old in some states number one so let's knock that out of the park number one number two i bet half of 85 percent of my judy's watching right now you're not finna sit up here and tell me that you ain't never lied about your age to some older guy or maybe he knew how old you was I, i'm this, this is true tea i have a judy from high school 16 started dating some guy who was 26 
They are still together today. They have three kids together. Is it right? No, it's not. But it's true tea. It happens every day. It's been happening since forever. It's been happening since forever. Why are we acting like grown people, not just men, but grown men and women not talking to underage people and, and people just go on about their lives? I'm not saying that it's okay. I'm not saying that it should even be normal. But we, what we're not gonna do is that we're, we're not gonna act like this, like James Charles is, is the only person. Oh my, oh, I can't believe, oh, why not? Please. Half y'all done lied about your age. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. And when you're 60, 17 years old, you know what you're doing. Y yeah, you might be a victim to a degree and I'm not victim shaming. I'm not, look, I, I'm just, I'm just, look, this is, this is what we do. This is what we do. We keep it all, the, let's just keep it a hundred. Let's just keep it a hundred. why you don't judge people. I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying it's what's real, this ain't the first time this ain't, it's not, and it's not gonna be the last. So, why is nobody saying that? What you, what do you want is to say? Ain't nobody try to put themselves in the drama. I put myself in the drama because it's just us. It's just us Judy, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Anyways, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all that drama. Let me know what you think about what I said. Go ahead and leave me a little hate comment. Find me on all of my other social media. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and uh, click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big fat sick thumbs up. Click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Woo. Like so much.